All right, guys, so I'm gonna go over a few things with you real quick. We've already got plans. We already got things in the works. I'm gonna be dropping off my Texit block that I showed you guys earlier about six months ago of us going and picking this up in Bowling Green and then the uh, Cobra crankshaft that we got. Uh, we were planning on getting this engine done before NMRA, but we ran into a bunch of other things that we wanted to get done around the house. So, and plus, you know, COVID kind of slowed us down a little bit. Uh, I appreciate that, Andy Bashir. Anyways, the thing I want to talk to you about is we've got parts and I had these parts probably a week or two after I bought that. Well, a lot actually, because the Tron Pistons took a month and a half to get. So, uh, so pretty well about six weeks or so after I had that, I got these parts. Uh, it took an act of Congress to find some manly billet rods and they're not even the billet ones that I was actually looking for, but I think we're going to be okay. And, uh, we'll get to that in a second. So the rings that we've got going on are the King racing bearings from the rings, the bearings that we've got going on my bed. Uh, these are the main bearings. There's the part number right there. These are the HPs. Uh, I bought these through L&M whenever I bought the Manly rods. Uh, essentially, I wasn't going to do the King bearings because I've had extremely bad luck with the King's bearings and the LS stuff. Uh, they do not, they didn't seem like they held up all that great and that hopefully, well, fingers crossed, that they hold up a little better this time. Uh, because in this car, we have uh, Clevite, I think is how you say it, on the rods. And then we have the Speed Pro type bearings, which is what the bearing that uh, John Mahovich uses over at Acufab. Those are the same two combinations that he uses. And that's what we got in that engine. And over here, I also have the King's uh, rod bearings, which these are just factory replacement, the SIs. Uh, right here. Now, we're not going to be using those more than likely. I probably am going to go ahead and go back to the Clevite. I think they're like 1440 HN or something like that, bearing. I'm going to hit up uh, somebody and pick those up. And once I get those, uh, we'll start doing some other things. And then we went ahead and got the uh, ARP 2000 head studs. Uh, yes, this car does have ARP 2000 head studs, and I could reuse those. But the idea here is to have this engine pretty well ready to go as a backup uh obviously i'm probably going to use the heads off this at first we weren't going to use the heads at all or nothing we was going to buy another set of nine thread heads but i can't find any at a good price so that's probably not going to happen and we're also uh flip flopping around maybe possibly getting some four gt heads or the gt5 the newer gt500 heads which are about the same as a four gt head and then rework our lower manifold, weld up the bottom section of it, and then uh, mill it down and get it flat and decked, and then port it out to where it matches the same port style as the 4GT. And that is one option that we're looking into doing. Uh, the reason why we are kind of looking at that option is because those heads are a lot better than say the uh, C heads that we got and I may not have to port them. So these heads we're gonna have to port and I'm gonna spend like three to $3,500 to have them ported because I'm gonna send them to modular headshot more than likely. Uh, I'm not 100% on that. So just hold in there on that one because I'm not sure what I'll do there. Cause like I said, we may do the four GT heads. And if I do the four GT heads, we probably won't send them off to be ported. Maybe, I don't know. But next on our list, we got the Cometic head gaskets, the MLS head gaskets. Typically, I just run the Fell Pro stuff, which is what's in this car right here. But uh, we did go with the Cometics this time. Now on to the main rod, the rod bearing, or the rod bearings, the rods that we're using. Uh, this car here is using a DSS rod, which is a copy of the Manly rod, but it is a Chinese rod, and we're not gonna be using that going forward. These are made in the USA. The foundry and everything is in the USA. Uh, everything on this list right here, I'm pretty positive is USA made uh, products. And that's what I wanna keep on the next build. I kinda wanna keep everything USA. 
don't ask me why, but yeah, anyways, let's not get started on that. So these are the Pro Series, the I-Beam, but they are the lightweight. And when you go look at these lightweights, they're gonna say that they're good to about 800 horsepower, okay? But after talking to L&M, they say they use those specific rods in a whole lot of their builds. And their builds are making anywhere from, he said, 12 to 1500 horsepower. And he said he's never seen one bend or break. And everything, every time an engine comes back for a refresh, they look phenomenal, he said. So, since we're not going to be making no uh, 1,500 horsepower, I figured, hey, it'll be good for me. Plus, the stroke is a little bit shorter, so the rod is a little bit shorter, meaning that they're going to hold up even better than what they do in the 5458 bills that they're using them in. So, I thought that was... Uh, for me, I was like, yeah, that's, that, that'll work just fine. Let's go ahead and get them. And I got them at a good price, but as you can tell, that's what we got going on right there is the billet rods from, from Manly. Uh, I really wanted to do this on my last build, but obviously I just, I just ran out of money on the last one. And this one here was like, look, we're gonna put these parts together. I'm gonna do it right this time. I wanna do everything the way that I want it done. And that's why it's taking a little bit longer because I'm gonna put everything good that I can think of in it uh, by using what John Mahobit says to use and kind of what L&M says to use. And that's what we're gonna do. The next thing that we got on our list are the Trom pistons that I got. Now, you're probably thinking Trom, who the hell is that? Well, they're off brand or not even off brand. The guy that owns Trom came from Arius Pistons. You don't know who Aries Piston is, look them up. They've been around for a long, long time. Uh, they've kind of sold out to CP Carrillo, and I think they're kind of in conjunction now. So I wanted to go with somebody like this uh, for a few reasons. The wait time was short, although that I could have waited for other companies. And I tried to get a hold of GiveTech about, I don't know, five or six times, and it seems like I was constantly leaving messages and emailing and Nobody ever got back to me, so I was like, you know what? I'm tired of screwing with this. Uh, Todd over on uh, NASVT, Todd, um, I'm sure everybody knows who that is. He's over on Facebook. He sells some Tron Pistons, and I was like, hey, are they any good? He said, they're great. He said, he ain't had no problems with it. So anyways, we ended up going with uh, 5 thousandths over, and it's a 11 and a half to one compression with the factory cylinder heads, so that means untouched cylinder heads at 52 cc this will be 11 and a half to one now when i send these heads to get ported or get the four gt heads the combustion chamber is going to open up a little bit and we're going to be a little bit lower than that probably like 11 to one uh, but let's take a look at these real quick and i'll show them to you so we can hear them get this video over with maybe they're tight But as you can tell, we got a little bit of a dome going on. The top ring down is 290 thousandths. Uh, it is a 1.2 top. It's got a 1.5 Napier second with a, I believe, three millimeter on the bottom oil ring. Don't hold me to that, because it could be 3.5, but I think it's three. I opted for the Molly side coating, which looks phenomenal. Uh, the piston looks really good. And there's some part, uh, you can see in the bottom here where they went in there and they've kind of milled it out for weight to lighten it up a little bit and also to balance it, obviously. So, as you can tell, it looks like a good quality piston. The piston pins themselves are uh, 200 thousand, so they are 200 thou, so they're good and beefy. And also, we went ahead and got the ARP main studs and so we're pretty well basically ready to go. I just need to take these two items right here with all this, drop it off at the machine shop, have him do the balance, the decking, and you know, the boring and all the good fun stuff and get it all cleaned up for me really good, put in the hot tank. I'm gonna go ahead and have him put the pistons and everything on the rods for me. So I don't have to worry about none of that. We'll double check it obviously. And then we'll get it back here and we'll check all our clearances make sure all that's looking good and we'll do a video on that so i want to end this video right here and then uh so that way you just kind of this is just pretty much just to let you guys know where we're going we're kind of stepping forward kind of get over that next boundary we're going to get that eight second pass 
I'm still a little bummed about this whole past weekend, but we have already found a few things about the car. Uh, I'll put that in tomorrow's video or the next video, whatever it is. I'm not sure when we'll post it, but yeah, I'm, I'm done rambling on. I wanna, don't want to waste you guys' time no more. Again, I want to say thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Uh, it really helps us if you like us because it uh, puts us up further in the rankings and it helps get our video out there to show other YouTubers that, uh, uh, hey, these guys are getting good likes. People are liking them and it kind of just helps us with the algorithm and everything. So if you don't care, if you watch the video, just give us a like so that way we can get that going. It helps us tremendously. Uh, also, I've got some apparel over on uh, Teesprings. I'll put a link down below. You can go purchase if you want to. Um, I've only got a couple of shirts, so I'm not sure of the quality of how Teesprings is. But either way, we don't make much off of those, but it does help uh, in a big bit or a little bit. So we'll talk to you guys later. And yeah, peace out.